Okay, guys, here we go. Cobra 1000 GTL, uh, my favorite bass radio, uh, bass CB radio ever made. This one is up for sale. Uh, clean bill of health on it. We'll demonstrate everything here in the uh, in the video. AM only on these radios, but they are excellent performing. Uh, AM radios got a really nice sound to them, can have a really uh, robust sound to them, uh, depending on the mic you use with them and, and how you set them up and everything else. Uh, clock works. Uh, both meters work on it. Hello, audio, check, check, audio, check, one, two, three, audio, check, check, audio. You can probably hear it uh, through the uh, radio in the background. Nice, loud, clear modulation. And that's with just a Superstar 507 mic on here. You don't need to run a power mic on these, uh, but if you want to, you can. But I always just run a Superstar, and uh, they sound, as uh, we like to say, wall to wall and treetop tall. Uh, this one's in pretty good shape. The wood grain's pretty good on it. Uh, I hit it with some Scott's liquid gold, made it shine a little bit. You got a little spot peeling up back there, but pretty nice shape. Uh, the face does have some discoloration on it. Uh, certainly not the worst one I've ever seen. Might be able to, might be able to uh, actually clean it and get some of that off. I, I just gave it a wipe down. Um, it's got variable power on the Delta tune, variable dead key control. Uh, all other functions work as they should. You do have to have an external speaker with these, which is why I've got this little guy up here. I'm selling this one without a speaker, so you'll have to run your own external speaker. Uh, some people like the Cobra speakers that, that came with them in the 2000s. I usually hook something else up to them. Um, it's got channels right here. I don't remember where that takes you. I think it's lower channels. Uh, thankfully, they didn't drill a hole in the front. They just put it out the record jack there, which is always nice. I hate when they have all these extra holes in the front. Pet peeve of mine. So uh, no additional holes made in the face. Um, I said both meters work. Receive light works on the air light works. Clock works. Audio. Check, check, check. Audio. One thing it does have added that some people will probably find pretty cool. Some people might find it annoying. So it's got a ping in it. Uh, kind of mimics the way like a browning sounds if you don't exaggerate the ping on a browning. Uh, some people will probably find that kind of cool, kind of distinct. It's actually, it sounds pretty good. It's not a... Not real, not not terrible sounding if you like that. So yeah, it's not a browning, but <laughs> has a nice little ping to it, uh, similar to a browning. Uh, we'll key up our Cobra 90, show you this thing receive. Hello, audio, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. So dummy load to dummy load. It's receiving just fine. And uh, now, the moment everybody's waiting for, the uh, output test. Uh, we've already shown the meters working, so we'll show the output on it here. We've got a 50 watt slug, middle scale. RF power is wide open, the delta tune knob. So that's about 5 watts. Hello, audio. Audio, audio. Going to about 11 average. We'll turn it all the way down. Basically zero. Hello, audio. Still going to 11 average. PEP. Hello, audio. Showing 50 PEP. Audio, audio. Turn RF power wide open. Hello, audio, audio. Still 50 PEP. Uh, let's see, see, see. I was going to put my 100 watt slug in there, see it shows on it. Give me a second. I'm going to pause the video, grab the 100 watt slug, and we'll check it on it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Just had to grab the uh, 100 watt. I usually keep it here handy, but had it in the slug case. So we've got the 100 in there now. Still looking at the, uh, we were looking at the middle scale, uh, reading 50 watts. Now we're looking at the bottom scale, 100 watts. Hello, audio. You see how it's picking up my voice a little different. Uh, just talking into it around for what, 45? Audio, audio. You hit it with audio, still doing about 50 PEP. Now, that being said, uh, it's probably not going to show that on like a dosimeter. 
a brand new dosey, despite what people say. Uh, they do read pretty tight. Uh, they read kind of a weird mixture of uh, PEP and RMS or average power. So if you get this thing, expect it to do 50 watts on a dosey, probably not going to. You're probably looking at about 35 to 40 watts um, on a dosey there. I don't know. I don't have a dosey to test it on or I'd show you guys, but uh, uh, if you're using a bird and you want to use a bird as a reference, around 45 to 50 PEP, uh, 10 to 12 watts average, and a pretty nice radio. Not bad at all. I actually thought about keeping this one. Uh, just kind of like how it does. Um, but I've already got a 1000. I don't, I don't see me talking on this one over the one I've got. This one actually does more power than the one I use. Uh, the one I use does about nine and a half, ten average, and uh, about forty PEP. Putting this thing on the website, guys, roostercb.com. It will be under used equipment and specials. So if you're interested in it, uh, it'll be first come, first serve. It'll be on roostercb.com. Going to take a couple of pictures of it here and uh, link the video in it probably, and uh, toss it up there. Cobra One Thousand GTL. Nice radio. Catch you guys out there, Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.